Hello, I'm Nahana from Smoky Mountain Farmhouse here in Zone 7A, and today I want to share with you our vegetable seed haul for the 2022 season. So last year, our vegetable garden was in this area you can see behind me, but this year our plants have changed and that's because we need all the space we can get for cut flowers. We're supposed to have our trees harvested, but that has been a long lengthy process. I'll share more of that with you in another video as to why we're getting them cut and what trees we're getting cut. But for now, let's talk about the vegetable garden plans. So I'm thinking that we are going to plant them in raised beds over here by the house. We would have to move the chicken coop that's over there and we're going to build a small greenhouse just for seed starting and put raised beds around that. Hopefully that's something that we can accomplish this spring. So many of these vegetable seeds we planted in our garden last year. Some of them are new. Most of them came from Baker's Creek. Now I'm not sure if you saw our cut flower seed haul video, but I organized these in the same way. I put them in these large containers and inside the large container there are many small containers. I separated them by variety and put them in alphabetical order. And then on each container I put what date I'm going to be planting them based on our last frost date. That way I can just look and see what needs to be planted when. So here in this first container we have some beans. It's the Kalima and Dragon Tongue beans. I have a couple of these packets. We planted them last year and I absolutely love them. They just had such good flavor. Um, picked fresh and steamed with some butter and salt and pepper. They were just wonderful and they were really pretty in the garden. Next we have some cabbage. Now a different piece of information I put on here is that this is the spring planting and then on the front I put when is safe to plant them in the fall based on our zone. I did stick some Brussels sprouts in here that we got as well because I didn't have enough containers. But here we have some cabbage and Hunzinger cabbage. I do apologize for any pronunciation because some of these have some strange names. But not this one. This is red cabbage. And then I got some free seeds from Baker's Creek to try Nero de Tuscan cabbage. I actually have three freeze packets of those because I placed a lot of orders. <laughs> Next, we have uh, carrots. We have cosmic purple. Long Rouge Slang. Parisian. And new Corota. Here we have some celery, Chinese pink. I thought that would be really fun to grow. Next, we have some corn. Actually, there's no picture on this one. So this is Damon KS Super Sweet. I will have to show you a picture of what that one looks like. And this is glass gem. We planted these last year. They were so pretty and so fun. I hope to plant a lot more of those this year. Cucumbers. We have Boston pickling. And some dar. Dar is what we grew last year, but I wanted to give the Boston pickling a try. And hopefully we can do some pickling and fermenting the dar are good for pickling too. They are a 
slicing and pickling cucumber, but I wanted to try a smaller variety. So I'm hoping that the Boston really are nice for pickling. These are greens. So there is a lot that I have packed in this one. So just here we have some collard greens, Georgia Southern, Scarlet Kale, Blue Curled Scotch Kale. This is some lettuce, Marivelle Des Corte Session lettuce. Yeah, however you say that. It looks pretty good though. This is some butter crunch. And this is some Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. There's not a picture on that one. Swiss Shard Five Color Silver Beet. These are some more greens that I got for free. There are several packets of that in here. Chijusia. Chijimsi. Chijimsi greens. More free greens. Benny Haushi Mizuna. Yeah, not my strong suit. First lane. So that is all for the greens. Melon. So we have some old time Tennessee melon. I thought that would be really fitting to grow here. Haven't tried it yet. Pretty excited about that. Got a couple packs of that. Here's some more melon. It's a uh, taste. Watermelon, moon, and stars. We grew that last year. That was really fun. They looked really neat on the skin and the leaves were actually speckled like that too. So the melon itself had yellow spots all over it and so did the leaves. Um, they did take up a lot of space though. So with that being said, I got some sugar baby bush watermelon, hoping that they don't take as much space. And I've heard that sugar babies are pretty good. So we will see how those do. Next, we have some okra. Now, I don't have any pictures. I just got them from the local feed and seed down the road, but these are the burgundy okra. We grew a bunch of those last year. They are really prolific. Um, really pretty in the garden such a beautiful flower and really unique color as opposed to the classic green colored okra but when you cook them up they turn green so really like those this is onion southern port red globe and yellow sweet spanish next we have some peas king tut purple and some cow peas purple hole pink eye cow peas peppers all of these are new this year I had got our pepper plants last year from a local um, nursery but this year I got a lot more pepper seeds to grow that will be starting soon Buena Molata Pepper. These are really cool colors. This, These are purple here, and then there's some other different shades, multicolor. I think they can be a lot of different colors, so I'm excited to see those. This is Craig's Grand Jalapeno. King of the North. And Lesia. Really excited about growing those peppers. Next, we have some Radish Pink Beauty. Squash. This is packed full, mostly because there's a ton of pumpkins in here. <laughs> Zucchini Gray. Crookneck Early Gold. Golden, which there's no picture, so I'll show both of those to you. Squash, this is white scallop. 
All right, now we're getting into the pumpkins. Now, I do not know if I'm going to end up planting any pumpkins this year because, like I said, they're going to harvest our trees, and I feel like I need way more space for that unless we take up more of the yard, which, you know. <laughs> so, here we have some pumpkin baby boo. I picked these up at a local store. Um, squash uh, or pumpkin, Connecticut field pumpkins. I would love a whole giant patch of those. Fairy tale pumpkin. Those came from Eden Brothers. And so did these Jack B. Little pumpkins. I feel like these pumpkins, especially the small ornamentals, would grow really well in the fall next to some cut flowers. So that's part of my reason for that is so I can have more decorative things to sell in the fall time along with dried flowers. But like I said, we need more space. Uh, this is Jahardia. Long Island cheese. Moringa. And then here we have a couple of gourds. Uh, birdhouse gourds. I grew those last year. I don't know if I'll be growing any more this year. We have them drying in our basement right now. So we will see how that goes. But our hope is to turn them into Purple Martin birdhouses because the gnats here are absolutely terrible and Purple Martins are supposed to be really good at keeping down the gnats if you can establish a colony here. So that was the intention of that. Um, we're gonna see how those dry and uh, probably not plant any this year, but maybe next year. And then these are some loofah gourds. I would really love to grow those, but again, the gourds and the pumpkins they just take up so much space and we're really focusing on cut flowers this year so we'll see tomatoes black crim costaluto Florentino. German pink. And these were some white tomatoes, free seeds that I had got. And we also have some black cherry purple tomatoes. I'll have to show you what those look like. And lastly, we have herbs lemon basil now i'll be growing um lemon basil in the cut flower garden as well but i did pick up this lemon basil from baker's creek that i'll just put in the regular garden around the tomatoes and stuff and then same thing this dark purple opal basil i grew this last year it was so pretty so i may be using some of them for herbs picking some for cut flowers over in the vegetable garden. You never know. Um, more bouquet dill. I had these in the cut flower garden as well. I might plant a couple of these in the um, vegetable garden. Cilantro, slow bolt. I have a couple packs of those. I love cilantro. And some marigolds, Colossus red gold bicolor and Kilimanjaro white. Now, I absolutely love the smell of the marigolds and the chickens love them. So, I actually want to get more marigolds. I'm going to plant all these. These actually I grew last year and so I'm not sure how much is in here. But I'm also thinking of growing marigolds for cut flowers. We'll see. I'm going to plant these all around the vegetable garden and use them to deter pests and to feed to the chickens because they're very nutritious and they absolutely love them. But I'm going to look into getting more varieties for the cut flower garden because... I think that they would be a really interesting element to add to a bouquet. So we'll see about that. But this is some sage, pink sundae. And then in here I have some morning glories that I don't think I'm gonna plant because morning glories seem to grow around here like weeds. So I've been holding off on planting these because there's just morning glories everywhere in the landscaping and wild morning glories. I didn't plant them, but one day I'll find a beautiful spot for these because I remember them as a kid. Clark's Heavenly Blue Morning Glory and Moonflowers that open up at night. Ugh, I just love those, but I don't want them spreading everywhere. So I just have to find just the right spot for those someday. So 
go. That is all we have for our vegetable garden seeds. I hope you enjoyed watching this vegetable seed haul video and I look forward to keeping you updated on our vegetable garden plans. As always, thank you for watching our small farm grow. Hopefully that's something we can accomplish this spring. If not, I don't know what we're going to do with these vegetable seeds, <laughs> but nothing like last minute plans. <laughs>